going back to conducting, um, like, did did your father teach you? Like, like, did you like take lessons from him? Like, no, I not in the traditional sense. Okay, he was my biggest influence, of course. Yeah. I mean, I was, uh, you know, I took proper you know lessons so you asked me about that I didn't go to conservatory right. in fact because um, you know I wanted to I applied in, in conservatory as a composer mm -hmm. and then some of the composition professors uh, you know some wonderful people you know Juilliard Eastman you know other people that, that would tell me you know what uh, to be a composer you don't need to go to conservatory you just need life experience. Mm -hmm. So if you yeah. can, go, you know, go to another type of place where, you know, you can do other things. And uh, that coincidentally then led me, of course, to this path. But, um, you know, for me, the uh, idea of conducting, again, came much later. I never thought about, I want to do this. And when I was thrust into it, you know, of course, you know, he, he was, he, he never pushed me into it. My parents never really pushed me into music. Yeah. At some point I said to them, you know, in Kasha, I said, hey, I can't live without it. What do I do now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, is there something that is drawing me back? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so especially, you know, during the, the last few years of his life when we knew, okay, he had Parkinson's and so on, when I also realized, okay, I might not have him, much longer, I wanted to spend more time. I was studying, actually I was studying voice mm. um, in Berlin uh, at the time, and I, I spent all the time that I, I could away from my studies there to just be with him and support him wherever he was, in Paris, London, some other places. And uh, then we would sit down and he would say, hey, shall we look at some scores? Or yeah, I, It's not that I was preparing to conduct them, mm -hmm. but, but that was a way of, you know, uh, going about and just reading through scores. Yeah. And then, uh, when I had my first mm -hmm. job, I started in the United States in San Antonio. I was mm -hmm. resident conductor for the San Antonio Symphony, and Larry Ratcliffe mm -hmm. hired me, who we all know is at, at Rice, wonderful mentor, and he was my first real proper sort of mentor, you know, who, who of course, is such a, a fantastic, not just Conductor, but understand the orchestra and what's needed in in the job, yeah. and uh, so it almost feels that from my father I got you know a lot of the philosophy about how to go about mm -hmm. read. But he he would never be like, okay, stay stand there and now give a downbeat or mm -hmm. whatever. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very rarely. Or for instance, we would talk about Beethoven five. What? Why is it so dif difficult? You mm -hmm. know, yeah. and, and he would just say, well, look, it's just there's no compromise. You just go. For it, you go for it, you know, nah! and then see what happens. Mm -hmm. um, things like that, and you know, he would make me, I would be like, okay, you know, trying it, and, and but other than that, it was never okay. Here's the four pattern, here's mm -hmm. you know, never like that. Sure. And I learned that from, from others, but but to me, talking about it, talking mm -hmm. about how to look at a score, mm -hmm. um, how to find what's interesting. How, how things sound together and I mean that you know we, we were reading oftentimes very giddy for him because when I did start in uh, 2007 you know, in San Antonio I, he would sometimes just ask okay what are you what are you doing what, what are you going to be doing there and I conducted sometimes 80 or 90 concerts a season mm -hmm. in my in my role there so there's a lot of new material to go through and yeah, would tell me, oh yeah so I'm doing this and I was oh this is interesting yeah let's do it together oh I never did that Mm. You get to do, for instance, he, uh, uh, he told me, oh, I've never done Messiah, mm. you know, which I would think, okay, mm. you know, in his 60 years, yeah, <laughs> he, would, he would do Messiah, because also his first job was in Halle. Halle, of course, is Handel City, mm. um, but of course, Messiah is, you know, in English, so it's not as big as the Bach Christmas Auditorium in Germany, but so mm. things like that, mm. and so it was, it was Yes, studying with him uh, on a side-by-side -side basis and reading through scores yeah. for for several months with him, you know, that was that was absolutely a, 